it was just something that built week by week. Um, and er every victory seemed to bring more confidence, uh, more skill. It was just a team that really, really gelled. I don't think we were extraordinarily talented. We were certainly never as, as talented as Yale. Second down and eight. Second down. Eight down. On the Yale 10 yard line, Valentine to the near side, Hornblower to the far side. In motion, Krim, Lalich, Lalich hit, fumbles, loose balls, and Yale has recovered. Mike Puskarin has recovered the ball, number 27. Things went well. We won the games. We played well. We had uh, you know, great camaraderie. I mean, uh, those things kind of feed on themselves and breed themselves. Uh, the more successful we were, the kind of the stronger the team became. Um, it, it just was uh, you know, very graceful, very easy. I mean, uh, when you had a leader like Brian Dowling, um, there was never any question about what we were going to do and how we were going to do it. Looking back on the season, I don't think we attempted more than three field goals. We got in the red zone, we scored, or we scored from outside the red zone. It's just, um, you know, that was my mentality. Here is Dowling. Dowling being pursued by Ranieri. Now back again to the one. He throws, and it is complete out to Hill at the 30-yard line, knocked down. Dowling had never lost a game, okay? We had, in high school, in college, any game he'd ever finished, he had never lost. He had this sort of ultimate calm that he seems always to have had. You know, he never got excited. I mean, he literally would draw up a play. You know, which you're, you know, we're not supposed to be doing that. You know, people would say, don't, don't be making up plays in the huddle, but still he would want to do it.